Jen Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a beauty break with Bentley video and we are going to be doing, I, I'm sure you didn't notice, but my eyebrows are not done. Um, we're going to be doing a eyebrow lamination and tint. So the eyebrow lamination is what we're going to do first. And I got mine on Amazon and this is it and I'm not even going to try there to tell you who that company is IBCC NDC anyways it's a starter kit for brow lamination and I saw it on Instagram it was Alexa Jean Brown she did it and she's got light hair so I thought okay this sounds great and she said it, she liked it so Anyways, it comes with this kit, just like this, and then this is the roll of uh, saran wrap, basically, but it's, you know, the right size to fit your eyebrows, so that's what we're going to do. So, let's get started. I'm going to pull my hair back. I know, I, I straightened my hair today, and it took like a million years, so I now remember why I stopped straightening my hair and blow drying it and all that other stuff because curls are great and they take a lot less time because I actually let it dry and then I just blow dried it a little just to finish drying it so I didn't add quite so much heat to it anyway let's read the directions and each of these little bottles did I show you the little bottles each of these little bottles have a number on it it says Step one, using the number one cleanser lotion, clean them off. Step two, apply the glue on the brows. And then number three is brush brows with the V-shaped brow thing. I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. These look really kind of weird, and but I'll show you what they look like. These are the weird little V-shaped brushes is what they call them, but... I don't really think they're brushes. You get five of them in here because this lamination kit will do your brows many times. So anyways, this is what it looks like. And I don't know if you can see, but one, this little side of one of these two little things, this one over here has little comby things on it. So that's like what you're supposed to use to brush up your brows like this. with the stuff on it. I may use it. I'm gonna keep one out just in case. Anyways, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with step one. First is we're gonna use this cleanser. So I am just gonna use one of these Q-tip things. So anyways, we're gonna start off by cleaning off the clean brow. The next step says apply glue on the brow. So I'm just going to take a tissue because they feel really wet from that stuff and just kind of wipe it off a little bit. And then I'm going to apply the glue. First I'm going to brush them up with this. And I'm going to let you guys see them. So you can see how unruly they are. Now we're going to put this glue on them. Ugh. I thought it would have a spoolie on it. It should. So I'm just going to put some glue on here. Try and get it on all my brow hairs. Especially this ones over here that Definitely don't like to go the right way. This would definitely have been better if it had like more of a mascara type applicating, applying thingy, I think. All 
All right, now I'm gonna use the comb that they said to use, this little guy. And I'm gonna comb them up so I can get the glue on all the hairs, get them where I want them. <coughs> I'm sure you're supposed to use these little plastic guys so that you don't ruin your little spoolies. I think I'm gonna buy a pack of those disposable spoolies though. Boy, this glue dries fast. So now I'm gonna put a piece of saran wrap on this side, this stuff. So I've got a piece of the saran wrap. I'm going to put it on here to, I'm sure, keep those in place. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. And I know that these look wild, but you can always trim them afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my saran wrap on this one. And I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, the 10 minutes is up. So now we are going to apply the perm lotion to the brows and then put the, this saran wrap back on them for another 10 minutes. So I'm gonna take this off, which it's totally glued on. Uh-oh. Go upwards so you don't pull down everything you just had set in place. So there's that. And I'm just gonna use the same stuff. So. I'm going to lay it down. Just the way it goes on. So that I remember. Okay, this is the perm lotion. I'm gonna shake it up. And then I am going to use a Q-tip. And then I'm just gonna put this stinky stuff. It smells just like a perm. I think we're all old enough to remember what perms smell like. Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, we're gonna put this on Try and get that guy to stick up. He's not really doing it. I watched a video of this, but they were using the eyelash lift kit, but they were doing their brows. And she didn't use any saran wrap stuff. I guess it doesn't come with the eyebrow lift kit, probably. And they were, she was just following the directions of the eyebrow kit. I mean, of the eyelash kit. Did I say eyebrow the whole time? She had an eyelash lift kit, like a curling one. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Anyways, she didn't put the saran wrap on at all, and hers turned out great. So I'm doing it anyways, but I know it could be better. I mean, it, it'll work without the saran wrap, but it came with it, so I'm good. And, oh, I was going to tell you guys, this kit cost it $20 and like $20 and 50 cents, or it was 20 something, 20, not, it was not more than, it wasn't 21. It was 20 and something cents for this kit. And then the tent kit that we are using, going to be using after we get done is this uh, Godefroy tent kit and it was 19 something so they were both like 20 bucks so each they were each like 20 bucks and I just found this inside the tent kit because it's from Godfrey too and I think I want to check this out it's a uh, can you see it there it's a eyelash curler warmer upper 
and it uses a USB port. And I thought, oh, that sounds good. So I'm gonna look this up because I just I just found it. So I'm gonna look it up, see how much it costs, and see if it looks good. And then I'll let you know because I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, guys, it's been 10 minutes. I looked this up. It's $20. The reviews are either they love it or they hate it. It sounds like it may not have very good quality. It gives great results, but it doesn't stay. You have to plug it in every time to use it. It doesn't have an on-off switch. And it seems like the plug, -in, the plug can be faulty. But they all say it gives excellent, well, not all. There was one that I read that didn't say. She said it doesn't touch. She didn't like it. Anyways, I think I'm probably going to get it anyways because it sounds good to me. And I've had things before that had really bad reviews. They work great for me. But I think you should always uh, watch the reviews. I mean, read the reviews. Because then you're making a conscious choice. It's like, okay, I know that could be what the problem is. But I'm ready for it. So if it happens, I'm ready to fix it. All right, so moving past that, we'll do that in a future video if I order it. I put it in my cart, but we're not there yet. All right, next step is to apply the fixation lotion and then put that back on for another 10 minutes. So, this is the fixation lotion. It's blue, so I'm just going to put this over the top because it doesn't say anything about wiping it off so I'm not gonna put these back on still stinks so if you don't like the smell of perm you're not gonna like this okay Alexa set a timer for 10 minutes 10 minutes starting now I will be back in 10 minutes okay we are to the remove the clean film and use the cleanser lotion to clean off the residue. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take off the cling wrap. I think I'm going to throw these away because the only thing we have left to cling wrap needs a new pair of cling wrap, I think. I need to get a cotton thingy. for the um, cleansing and then I'm gonna uh, this does not work look at that lumpy mess all that glue and stuff let me see. <laughs> I need to, here, I have this. This is the comb for the tint. Yeah, this is stuff doesn't come out easily. That's what it says to do. To use the cleanser to wipe it off. As you can see, it's just kind of balling up sure it's all that glue but it never said to take it off before now so I didn't 
Nobody I saw do this. I don't remember seeing this issue. All right, I think I have it all off this side. Now I need to comb my brows back up and see if they'll stay. Look at that. That's how hard I had to scrub over there. Pulled the blood to the surface. Now it says to put this oil on it. So that's what we're going to do because it definitely needs some relief. So now you put this number four and it's called nutrition on it and then you put more saran wrap for 10 minutes. I don't know if you're supposed to use your finger but they only give you the applicator and the glue so I'm pretty sure you can use whatever you want. And I am going to use my finger. And then I'm going to put on saran wrap again. So I'm going to comb them up how I want them. Hopefully they'll stay that way. Glue them down. Oh, I forgot to comb them up. I don't know, it just doesn't look like it's corrected all these crazy ones that go the wrong way. Maybe I did something wrong, but they don't seem like they're going to stay there. Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. Oh, I'm getting hot. All right. I'm starting now. I'll be back in 10 minutes and then we're going to tent them. Okay guys, I'm back. The time is up and this is the reveal. Actually, it's not because we're going to uh, tent them next. They're not sticky anymore. So I am just going to go over it with a makeup wipe. To get this oil off. And then I'm going to go over it. I have this cotton thingy wet and it's just wet water on it. And I'm just going to do that to get anything from the makeup wipe off. So they're nice and clean. Then I'm going to brush them up so we can see if they are going to cooperate with this whole thing. Because right now, they don't really look much different to me. I mean, I'm hoping that they stay up now. That's the idea, I think. But... Not necessarily seeing that. I don't know if it if I didn't put enough on or if I didn't work fast enough with that glue. I really scratched that stuff off over there and it's not gonna go away. Okay, so we're gonna do the tent next. And the tent we're using is this uh, 
Gold Froy tent kit and I got medium brown. And so basically what I don't know what Alexa is doing, but basically what you do, what you get in the kit is you get a comb brush combo, you get a little mixing bowl, you get this little guy, which I don't even know what it's for because it's not a quarter teaspoon and that's what you got to add. You get your developer and then your, um, oh, I could put them in the box. The color are these little capsules. So you just dump one of the little capsules in here and then you add a quarter teaspoon of the developer, mix it up, paint it on, leave it for one to two minutes and wipe it off. So that's what we're gonna do real quick because this video is getting way too long. So I'm just gonna crack one of these open and I'm sure I could probably get away with only mixing half of it. But since this is my first time doing it, I don't wanna try that. I'm just gonna dump the whole thing in there. And it's equal parts is what it said. So I guess that's, that's what the powder looks like. And it's a quarter teaspoon, I guess, because that's what it says for me to add is a quarter teaspoon of the developer. So I'm going to put that in here. And that's what I've got, quarter teaspoon. I'm going to add it in. And then I'm going to use, it comes with the, a brush, a little brush to apply it with. That's what I'm gonna to use to stir it. So I'm just mixing it in this little mixing thing till it's all mixed up and then I'll show it to you when it's all mixed up. Yeah, it's going to be way more than I need for my two little brows. Anyways, that's how much you get because you can use this on beards, mustaches, on your hair, if you like for spot doing it, you know, spot, what does it say? Spot coloring. It says medium brown, permanent color, la la la. I know it said somewhere that it was, oh here, it must be over here. I need to put my glasses on for this though. Okay, single application pre-measured capsules. That is not what I was looking for. No odor, no ammonia, blends with existing color, can be used on beards, mustaches, temples, sideburns. So you can color like right here if you're going, you know, gray. <laughs> I'm not going to especially with this, um, or anywhere else you need a little color. Also great for root touch-ups. They didn't have it in like my color, super light. All right, so we're gonna go in with this and I'm just gonna paint it on. Um, I am going to start on the outside. There, I'm gonna start, take my little brush, and I'm just going to start on the outside because I want that to be darker. And then when I go up here, I, uh, I want it to be on there shorter. So that's why I'm going to finish with that. So here we go. I'm probably only going to show you guys one because like I said, this video is getting super long. So I'm going to start out here. And from what I understand, this is basically just gonna dye the hair, but it should last like six weeks, I think is what it says, which of course you know it's not going to because that's what it says it will, so they never last as long. 
But I figure if it says it should last six weeks, I could get at least two or three out of it. I think. And I remember last time I did this. Not with this. I've never used this before. I didn't put enough stuff, color on. So I'm going to try and put a lot so that it actually colors. I wish it would color my skin too so that I didn't have to go back in and fill it all in, but it doesn't. Right now I'm headed in towards the middle more. I almost got the light brown and I'm glad I didn't because then I looked at Alexa's brows because she's got hair almost as light as mine and they weren't that dark so I thought okay she got medium brown I'll get medium brown and it'll be fine right it'll be fine I feel like it's not long enough of a tail it probably is. They're really thick, huh? That's okay. I like thick brows. I had thin brows for a long time. Alright. Now I'm going to do this one and I'm sure by the time this one is done that one will be ready to come off. Alright, I'm going to take it off of this eye and do it again. I think that's all you do too, is just wipe it off. Let's let this one sit for just another minute while we redo this one. Um, what do you guys think? I like them. I think they look great. I'm not sure about the lamination kit and they're still a little dark up here, but that will go away like the first time I take a shower. Um, so I would fill them in. I probably should have done that, huh? Let me get some Cabral out and fill them in just a little bit so you can see. I don't know if you'll be able to see anyways, just because they, um... They still have some of the dye on my skin, which won't be there for very long. I wish it would. I'd be more careful and I'd get it right where I need it, but I know that it doesn't stay there, so I didn't. So let's just go in and I'll fill in just a little bit with my Cabral. So I can see a 
few bald spots. Plus the Cabral is so good, it kind of works as a wax for if the lamination isn't as good as I want it to be. The Cabral will hold them in place. Hopefully the lamination was good enough to make them not so unruly. But I figure I'm going to keep using it, you know, every however long. I don't know how long it's supposed to last. Well, I do think it's supposed to last like six weeks. I don't think it's going to last six weeks. So I'd say in two or three weeks, I'll probably do it again. See if it gets better with time. Don't really need much out here. Use a little down here. And then we'll just put a little over here. These ones over here need to be trimmed a little. And I will do that. But not right now. I gotta go work on hemp again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I'll I will see you in my next video. Stay cool.